Now let's proceed to question number 87 to 90. Here all these are linked question and on basis of this given data you have to obtain the required information. Here it has been provided that the total number of employees in different departments of an organization and the percentage of females and males is given in this table. Here you can observe we are talking about here five different departments production, accounts, HR, IT and marketing where the number of employees in these respective departments are 500, 150, 200, 350 and 300 and these are the percentages of females and males in these respective departments. Let us take up now first question number 87. Here question number 87 states that what is the ratio of number of males in accounts to the number of males in HR. When you observe the given data here we are talking about number of males in accounts that is 70 percent of 150 and number of males in HR means 60 percent of 200. You need to obtain ratio of these two that is required ratio will be 70 percent of 150 and 60 percent of 200. Let us simplify this that will help you out to get the required information. 100, 100 gets cancelled, these two zeros get cancelled, 150 and 300 get reduces by 50, 3 and 4 times. Here 3 reduces 6, 2 times and when you simplify this in numerator you are getting 7 while in denominator you are getting 4 into 2, 8. So it gives you 7 is to 8 as the required answer. So out of these options provided, clearly the correct answer will be option number 2. You can definitely mark your answer to be option 2. So answer for question number 87 is option 2. I hope it is clear. Now let us take up question number 88. Here in question number 88 it has been asked what is the ratio of number of females in production to the number of males in marketing. So in this given data we are talking about number of females in production 45 percent of females out of 500 employees of production and 68 percent of males out of 300 employees of marketing we need to obtain ratio of that so it is clearly 45 percent of 500 and 68 percent of 300 let's simplify this and see what you obtain next here 0 0 gets cancelled here these two zeros gets cancelled and 3 reduces 45 15 times. So we are obtaining here 15 into 5 that is 75 and in the denominator 68. So the required ratio will be 75 is to 68. So out of these four options you can clearly find 75 is to 68 is present here in option number 1. So the correct answer for this question is here option 1. You can definitely mark option 1 as answer for question number 88. I hope it is clear. Let us take up now next question. Here in question number 89 it has been stated that the total number of males in all the departments together is out of these options. For that you need to calculate the number of males in each department. That means very first we will be calculating 55 percent of 500. That is 500 into 55 by 100 can be simplified and reduced to the value 275. Next, we will be considering 70 percent of 150. When you take 70 percent of 150, you have to consider 150 into 70 upon 100. This will simplify to the value 105. Next, we will consider 60 percent of 200. That is 200 into 60 upon 100. This reduces to the value 120. Next, we will consider 80 percent of 350. That is 350 into 80 upon 100. Can be simplified to the value 280. Next, you have to consider 68 percent of 300. That is 300 into 68 upon 100. It can be simplified to the value 204. Now when you observe this, this is the number of males in different departments of the organization. When you add it up, you will get the sum total equal to 984. So this is the number of males in the whole organization. So here we have to obtain the total number of males in all the departments together that is clearly 984. It is present here in option number 3. You can definitely mark your answer as option 3. I hope it is clear. Now let us take up question number 90. 
Here question number 90 states, by what percentage the females in marketing is more than the females in HR? So here firstly we will obtain the number of females in marketing, then we will obtain the number of females in HR. So this is the data provided to you. When we talk about number of females in HR, this is 40% of 200 that is 80 and when we talk about number of females in marketing that is 32 percent of 300 this can be simplified to the value equal to 96 so using these values now we will obtain the required answer as we were talking about the by what percentage the females in marketing is more than the females in hr so we know that number of females number of females in marketing is equal to 96 while number of females in HR is equal to 80. So now we have to answer by what percentage the number of females is marketing is more than that in HR. So I could get here required percentage equal to 96 minus 80 upon 80 into 100. Now when you simplify this you get here 16 upon 18 to 100 which is equal to 20. So the required percentage is 20 percent. So we get here the clear answer for this question that the percentage by which the females in marketing is more than the females in HR is 20 percent which is present here in option number one. So the correct answer for this question is option one. I hope it is clear to you. So in this way we have solved this question. So we have come to an end to the discussion of mental ability part of this paper of class 10th of code XP. I hope you have understood very well all the solutions and you do really great in your exam results. All the best for your exam results. Thank you for watching.